Hi, welcome to a very exciting and challenging course which is Software Quality Assurance. So in this course I will discuss with you about the uh, Software Quality Assurance and its related to uh, requirements, and its related to design, its related to uh, documentation, uh, software quality and its related to testing, software quality and its related to all aspects of software development life cycle. So let's begin our journey and look at what is quality. What is quality? So um, if you think really hard, it is not so easy to define quality. Can you define the quality? You might be thinking it is easy to define quality, but if you really think hard, it is not so easy to define quality because quite quality is context dependent we define quality with some context usually in the marketplace we have perception about the quality when you go any shop you say i need high quality of this product so they will say okay this one is of high quality this one is a low quality this one is has average quality so there is a perception the marketplace about the quality so let's see the synonyms of quality. Synonyms of the quality are excellence, eminence, value, class, superiority, worth. These are some synonyms of quality. So this shows that quality is something which is of excellence, which has some value. Value can mean in terms of financial, which is superior, which stands out rest of the similar product. So to better understand this let's look at the autonomous mass quality autonomous mass quality are inferiority uh, slowness inability so unimportant so these are all some of the autonomous as you can see on the google by typing typing the autonomous of quality you can see the list which is huge list so if if there's if our software product or service has uh, these qualities which are listed in as autonomous then definitely our software product or service is of low quality as a software engineering professional it is our responsibility to produce software product or service which are of high quality which stand out the rest of similar product or service which has worth which is useful so now let's discuss about the marketability concept for high quality there is there is a marketability concept related to it because you know everyone claims to manufacture or produce high quality product or service so you will never come across the person or company selling the low quality product because they want a, to sell the product they want they want gain the market share so uh, there is marketability concept in in the quality now in, i have discussed about uh, generally about the quality now let's discuss to be specific about the software quality quality as it relates to all aspect of software these aspects are requirement design code in test documents and training so software quality product is which has which has high quality requirements which has, have high quality design which has high quality code and test case are written keeping in mind the quality and our documentation and training material are all also of high quality so software quality it relates to all aspect not any one of the aspect so we should keep in mind that quality as it relates to all aspect of software development life cycle now let's discuss about the software quality is someone like the concept of beauty our software quality products should be some kind of beauty for example when we say this flower is beautiful usually we don't cannot explain we cannot we usually say yes i like it and it's beautiful so first for non-it profile it would be like 
what kind of this example is but our software product and service should be beautiful they should people should like it people should love it they should not leave our software product or service even they have the money software quality definitions now let's discuss six factor that are considered a definition of software quality so as i have told you earlier that quality alone defining quality is not possible we need to define quality with some uh, with some respect with some reference so quality context dependent so there are some some of the definitions about software quality low level of defects when deployed are really approaching zero and second one is high reliability or capability of running without crashes or strange result and third one is majority of clients with high user satisfaction satisfaction when surveyed fourth one is structure that can minimize bad fixes or insertion of due de new defects during repairs and effective customer support when problem do occur and rapid repair of defect especially for high severity defects Let, now let's discuss in detail all these definitions so first one was low level of defects when deployed ideally approaching zero this definition usually have two parts low level of defects when deployed and second one is uh, offer defects should be zero our software product or service should be defect free so you know our software are developed by humans and human make mistakes human make mistakes and there is possibility that our first software will be have defects no matter how it is possible to eliminate uh, defects if our product or service is small for large size application it is not possible to eliminate all the defects so low we should have low level of defects when deployed this means that our application is still under the development they are still under the development phase and this is not given to customer so it should have low level of defects so we should our development team should remove all those defects before it is given to client so we should move towards the ideal approach which is zero bugs and second one is high reliability of the capability of running without crashes or strange result our software product should be reliable they should run without any crashes or strange results so this is our uh, this, this should be our aim our purpose that we should build reliable products or service they should not crash they should not gain annoy the our customer so third one was majority of clients with high user satisfaction when surveyed so this is ultimate definition where our clients are satisfied they love our product then definitely uh, we are producing high quality uh, here i can give the example if you a love a car and if you have money to buy another car you are not going to second option because you love that car you love that functions comfortability and mileage then so definitely this product is of high quality so so our software product or service should be like that people should love that and uh, other one was a structure that can minimize bad fixes or insertion of new defects during repairs so of our software product or service should be built in such a way that that it should support the new new functions during repairs during bad fixes the, our structure should support that so our structure should be flexible such enough that new new fixes and new features would not affect existing functionality of the software product or service and another one was effective customer for support when problem do occur whenever there is problem in the software customer calls up the vendor and says hey this is i having problem and you need to fix it so how urgently we can respond to our customer queries this defines the uh, quality our customer service quality uh, 
specially and generally software product quality so if a level is uh, if customer cannot fix the problem then definitely it may be problem due to core due to requirements then it should be rotated toward the concern team they should fix it urgently another one is rapid repair for defects especially for high severity defects high severity defects should be fixed urgently and and they should be fixed rapidly high severity defects can be for application is breaking uh, client is not able to use it and client is not able to log in the application and uh, some kind of security flaws so they should be fixed urgently as it is responsibility of development team to fix it urgently as you know society has increasingly dependent upon the software and software are being used in our everyday life societies if something we are dependent on something and something is broken and usually uh, developers are taken with the code and you, developers are taken in the code and it is happening in industrialized world now let's discuss another concept behind the absence of defects there is concept of sense of beauty uh, of a software products are those which are has well formed requirements they have they fulfill the purpose they have sense of elegance that goes behind the simple absence of our flaws and they are robust so now i have discussed about the quality why we need software quality because it reduces time to market for new products it enhances market share compared to direct competitors it minimizes scrap and rework expenses because you know they fixing the uh, bugs later in the software development life cycle is costly and if uh, bugs are detected by our client that's embarrassing and for team and uh, it reduces market share so uh, high quality products which are develop the the companies which are developing high quality products they attracts the professionals top professionals it minimizes the risk of serious litigation it minimizes the risk of serious operating delays so the last one which was very important it minimizes this is risk of bankruptcy or business failure which may be attributed directly to poor quality or poor software quality you know in this competitive world uh, 9 out of 10 businesses fail so keeping in the mind business failure and bankruptcy we should we should keep high quality products we should develop high quality products and so we can minimize the bank bankruptcy and business failure now it is time to discuss about software quality assurance so software quality assurance mean so the term software quality assurance would mean that software guarantees high quality so quality assurance is set of actions including facilitation training measurement analysis needed to provide adequate confidence that processes establish and continuously improve to produce product or service that conform to specification and fit for use so software quality assurance covers the all aspect of software development life cycle model so software quality assurance begins uh, when requirements are documented and it ends even when software is given to customer it continues after that also so it covers the requirement it covers the design it covers the coding it covers the user documentations training materials it covers all the aspect of software development life cycle so as you know in the definition it is set up actions including facilitation training measurement analysis so it provide adequate confidence that our processes which which we have developed our quality assurance processes our development process is established and continuously improved we have not only developed we have monitored and we have improved to produce the product or service that conform to the specification and they are fit for use so 
now let's discuss about the Kepper Jones what Kepper Jones is as you know very famous person in the software industry very well known researcher in our industry says for software application to achieve high quality level it is necessary to begin upstream and ensure that intermediate delivery work products are also have high quality this means that the entire process of software development must itself be focused on quality. So as per Kepper Jones, he says that our software quality should begin from ground to up. We should not, we, we cannot assure the quality later in the development phase. So, so quality products are those products which are developed initially keeping in the mind the quality so that's it from today's session which was about uh, so software quality assurance and the next i will discuss about what is the bugs and their impact and how we can remove what are the strategies for removing the bugs till then bye